गुरुवे गौरिकाय सदा कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमा विष्णु बाधाय राधिकाय आत्मने श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत नारायण नामिने श्री कृष्ण लीला कथा ने सुधाक्ष औदार्य माधुर्य गुणश्चयुक्त वरम वरिण्यम पुरुष महांत नारायण शिसा नमा त्रिदंडीना भक्त शिरोमणि श्रीकृष्ण पादय कवि चैतन्य लीलामृत सार सार नारायण तुम सतत प्रपदे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि श्री गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे हरे लेट मी ऑफ मिलियन ऑफेंसेस नॉट अ स्पीट ऑफ फिल गुरुदे पानुग गुरु वर्ग नाम निष्ठ संत कोटि दंडव now hey hey yamuna 13th april saturday is appearance of ramanjacharya huh? then 14th is appearance of yamuna then 17th is ramnavami utapama then 19th is kamadaya ekadasi then twenty third is purnima krishna vasantaras valdev rasa yatra om shivadananda takur chavanda pradesh appearance day then varutni ekadi fourth me akshay tritiya is may 11 and nasimha chaturdashi is 22nd may hmm. jagannath rath yatra 7th july nanan yatra 22nd june oh so oh um, today is our <coughs> question and answer so before we take up that there is one propas bhakti siddhanta saraswati taku very amazing question is there like <clears throat> we we should understand the about the mind our own mind how it manifests and it gives a real insight huh? So he says, 
according to Sriman Mahaprabhu's instructions, what is the foremost duty of human beings according to Mahaprabhu's instructions? So, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati answer to say, first of all, we should, we should know who am I? After that, what is my duty? Once we understand who am I, then what is my duty? It will be naturally understood. You know, like you can see, If you think, um, if, if I think I'm this body, what, you know, oh, I should, what will my, my duty, I have to protect this body. You know, like, if you think I'm a doctor, then you should know what is your duty. Think, you know, seeing the patient, giving medicine, helping. So, um, but uh, he says by he says very nicely says by serving Vishnu. See, we always say serve Krishna, right? Vishnu is non different from Krishna is non different from Vishnu. We say serving Krishna, serving God, you know. So you might say people are saying uh, by serving Sri Vishnu, in what way the whole world is being helped, is being served. You know, bring auspiciousness. How do you how do you say that? No, we keep saying this. Or so is the answer. He says, Vishnu is vyapaka vastu. He is all pervading, right? Vishnu is vyapaka, all pervading vastu. And he is supreme lord, parabrahma, meaning he is big, or big vastu. He is all pervading. So all pervading meaning it must be the biggest object in the whole world. So by doing service to him, then who are inside him in me, him. Everybody's me doing service to all of them. If you serve all, oh, you are serving who are inside of him. There is nothing outside of him. So, <laughs> uh, then by suppose for some reason, if you serve a yeah, horse, no horse, right? Racing horse. If you serve one horse. Are you able to serve any other horses or any other animals? You are serving one horse. You are giving water, grass. See? Are you going to be giving water to all the horses, all the animals in the world? Obviously, you know, right? So, uh, Suppose you serve a country, one country, you know, some country. Are you going to serve all the countries in the world? Is it equivalent to that? Also, if you are serving, say, one year, two year, are you going to serve 
throughout all the time. So, suppose if somebody kills a goat or a fish, suppose they kill and they are doing service to the tongue. Okay, somebody, <laughs> his argument is amazing, you know, then that is one kind of service, but what about you are not serving the goat or fish, is it not? They are feeling bad, you are killing them. Suppose uh, you are serving a person, a human being, or one country. Then different person they get disturbed. Suppose I serve somebody, he is, he is attacking another, then he will be disturbed. You are serving one country, <clears throat> they are waging a war on another country, they will get disturbed. But by serving Vishnu. We are serving everybody. By that, everybody will be pleased. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, his mercy is Amanno Daya. Sarva, no, it is, is not limiting to anyone, any country, any place, any time, any link, everybody is included. Everything is included. For all these countries, for all time, for everybody, brings auspiciousness. See? So, um, this is how that's why. Um, now, we are servant of Krishna, right? Actually, everybody, everybody eternally servant of Krishna. Somebody knows it, some don't. So, ours, if somebody reminds, hey, look, you are also servant of Krishna, that is very bringing auspiciousness to mother. Because everybody has a serving attitude, okay? <laughs> you know, parents serving the children, children serving the parents. And everyone, doctors serving the patients. You know, everybody is serving. Only. Then you look at, take the trees, coconut tree serving. So many people, so many ways. It does not demand, uh, you know, nothing. It doesn't even ask for water, shade, anything. It gives you shade. Nowadays it is too hot. You know. So it is giving shade, but it is not asking for any shade, okay? <laughs> That's the thing. So, uh, that's why service to Krishna is living entities, eternal, most prominent, one and only duty. Other than that, there is nothing else. But when we become diverted from service to Krishna, then what will happen? Our false ego covers over, you know, then it will make us think that I'm the enjoyer, I'm the doer. Uh, but that is only uh, proper, meaning it is not eternal, you know, it's, that feeling is 
not auspicious. Huh? So when our consciousness like that, when we're <coughs> feeling I'm the enjoyer, I'm the doer, that consciousness, when we are trying to sense gratify, you know, objects of this world, then the consciousness, the nature of activity, consciousness is called man, maya, mind, mana. So what is that mind? It is the uh, perverted transformation of the soul swarupa. Atma Surupa, perverted transformation is what? The mind. So that mind will make you thinking that you are the enjoyer of the material world. So this mind becomes active when the soul is sleeping. See, when the soul is Soul is so powerful. Okay, try to understand. Why? Very powerful. When it is awake, of course it understands. Oh, my only duty is to love Krishna, Anuraga. It's automatic. Okay. It doesn't need anything. It's automatic. Nature of the soul is love the Supreme. Is Anuraga is there, huh? full of knowledge, it doesn't lack anything. Huh? Now, when it is sleeping, because it is, uh, some reason, then this mind, perverted transformation of that, gets the, it becomes active. So, and what is this thing in, you see, is all uh, under person, under the reverse of what the Atma wants. Atma wants to do service to the Lord. Now it wants to do service to itself, enjoying, you know, uh, jada in a mundane world. That's why this mind is um, cheats, cheats the Atma, then by cheating it is uh, enjoying happiness and distress. Then it comes under the, you know, like piety, sin and piety. Then it goes into heavenly planet, sometimes hellish planet, you know. So that's why this mind is the biggest enemy, most foremost enemy of the soul, Atma. That's why the entire Shastra, spiritual practice, is to control uh, this mind. Mm -hmm. So how to do that? You know, you, you cannot fight it. You have to do sadhana, bhakti, chanting, ekasi. Then gradually it gives strength to the Atma. See, when you become, you can, you can see, for example, when you become weak, what happens? You fall asleep, is it not? When you run out of energy, the system shuts down. Same way, when our spiritual strength, spiritual food <laughs> comes less, then Atma also becomes less. So, you give spiritual food, poop, wakes up. As soon as it wakes up, then the mind has no power. It's like in a dark room, there is a darkness. Can you fight darkness? You turn on the light, you don't need to, <laughs> you know. Darkness does not run away from the dark room. 
it will be there wherever it is but it will not have power to cover the things in presence of light suppose you have a explain many times you have a dark room put a pipe from to the outside i turn on the light you think all the darkness is going away through that pipe no <laughs> You don't see by running away. It will be there where you turn off the light, immediately darkness comes. It doesn't take much time. Immediate. So it is there where, but it will not power to cover the things in presence. So that's why what is darkness? Absence of light. There's no independent existence. Jnana, Ajnana, same way. Like in Bhaktivinoda Stakur explains in the uh, Navdip Parikrama. Now, when we go to Vidyanagar, you know, there avi, Vidya Avidya. No, no. Knowledge and ignorance, you know, is there. Both serving the Lord. You know, they are serving both of them. So, It is um, like the, the how, how we can ex appreciate sun if there is no darkness, night. <laughs> so, and it, so the night is not always eternal. It is the absence of light. So same way, the to become entangled. Uh, you know, unentangled from the mind is don't fight. Okay, increase our sadhana, bhakti. You know, our practice. Then it will become our friend. Hmm? So that's what Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati says. You know, liberation. What do you mean by liberation? It is nothing but we. Situating in our real Swarupa. So, and all favorably, you know, engaging all our senses in the service of Sri Krishna. That is called Mukti liberation. Engaging favorably all our senses in the service of Krishna is liberation. So, by Good fortune if Atma gets uh, wakened up, huh? uh, then doing service eternally to Krishna, and this is my eternal dharma. This thought or thinking automatically comes up, you know, uh, that is the nature of the Atma. It doesn't need any external thing, you know. So, that's why Bhagavad Bhajan and Bhagavad Krupa, mercy of the Lord, uh, is the Eternal auspiciousness is the path for eternal auspiciousness. Bhagavad Bhajana and Bhagavad Krupa. Hmm? Then the human body is root of for Bhagavad Bhajan. To do service to the Lord without human body is difficult. Huh? No, other than human body, no other body, no, we cannot do service, huh? we cannot do Aribhaja. So, um, Gauranga Mahaprabhu is the initiator, huh? Sankirtan, huh? congregational chanting. And is the purifier of this age, and is most 
magnanimous. So, in Trunadapi Sunich, in that shloka, by four words, he is telling the one and only duty for living entities is to Kirtan, Krishna Kirtan. He has given that instruction. So, one wants to retire from samsara. And then wants to attain happiness, huh? then he wants to get the wealth of eternal happiness. He has to do non stop Nam Sankirtan. This Harinam is non different from Hari. So, this Shabda Brahma, Krishna, now, it will free us from this samsara. It elevates huh? and it will give us the knowledge of Krishna and love of Krishna. So, but how do we chant? How do we think? By being Trunadapi Sunis, lower than, feeling lower than blade of grass. So this Trunadapi Sunish, feeling lower than the lower than the blade of grass, what it will do? Uh, it will destroy the knowledge of that I am Brahmasmi. Oh, I am God, you are God, everybody God, you know that. Huh? Um, it will destroy. So uh, and the Kirtankari, the one who is engaging in Kirtan, devotees, how do they consider themselves as the servant of the holy name? And they also consider, understand every living entity to be enjoyed by Krishna, Krishna, to be served, to be to serve Krishna. And every object, every huh? they can they see as a meant for service to Sri Krishna. Every object meant for service to Sri Krishna, engage in the service of Sri Krishna. So um, that see that is what the operation, you know. That's when we are seeing the world as it is. Otherwise, if we are seeing on our own, then we see left becomes right, right becomes left. Meaning what? What has been meant for the service of the Lord, we are looking at as, oh, meant for my enjoyment, my control. You get it? So, changing. No? Uh, And one is liberation, you know, one will bring happiness. If you see everything as meant for service to the Lord, brings happiness. If you see everything meant for my enjoyment, it brings unhappiness. Huh? That's it, Our, the way you look at it. Huh? One will bind us. Other one will free us from this mundane world. So, uh, that's why we have to chant all the time. So, it can fulfill all the desires. Nama Sankirtan. See, for example, Swami Maharaj, when he went to, yeah. What he did, he started chanting under a tree, right? That tree, they have named it as uh, Hare Krishna tree. <laughs> no. Tompkinson's Square. I used to do a lot of prasadam seva there, you know. 
many many years so he started chanting are krishna are krishna 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 are har are rama are rama 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 are shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda priya dvaita gadadhar srivasadi gauravakta vrinda are krishna are krishna 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 are 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 ram are ram 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 are a pure naam because he is praying to the lord please give me a chance to serve you oh lord you are not see that pure naam touches those people and it changes brings their conscious level high you know even though they may be drinker drunk whatever it is you know still it's so powerful it can rise as their conscious and automatically they give up and the service attitude develops in them instead of enjoying tendency they want to serve attitude you know automatic that's why very quickly you can see so many people came surrendered to him and that is the power you know pure naam huh? so that's why he says the naam sankirtan it can destroy all our inauspiciousness it can drive away inauspicious far away and when our consciousness becomes pure then sri naam takes appears there so krishna naam he the purushottama you know, foremost ah uh, purusha ah uh, purushottama first and also leela purushottama the naam also does leela first time krishna naam hai param purusha parveshwara vastu and then sri naam is swachamaya swatantra is an independent personality naam is a personality okay it can speak it can talk he is jagadishwar he controls the whole world he maintains he protects no matter how many difficulties come in the naam can remove all those difficulties no matter how much dirt is maybe in our heart huh? krishna naam by uttering krishna naam the heart becomes pure it can drive away all ignorance in the beginning of course when we are reciting naam the whatever in our heart we have from lifetimes and lifetimes unwanted things maybe pure name may not appear there but non stop repeating the name okay non stop by that influence of that all that unwanted things gradually go away then in the naam krishna naam all potency is there all favorable full of favorable things and a complete happiness okay. krishna naam is immutable ha huh? full of bliss and then complete knowledge ha huh? so uh, now do we think any questions because a long time 
Okay. When one practices spirituality and manifestation comes true, it will create a shock to one's perception in the material world. Like after one chance, everything, one thinks will, will come true, but it is best to be mo more down to earth. So how do we deal with such doubts and fear when such things happen? See, when one practices spirituality and manifestation comes true, it will create a shock to one's perception in the material world. Like after one chance, everything one thinks will, everything will come true, but it best to be more than true. Um, See, um, we we practice spirituality with uh, without any like motivation for gain and our our reference like that. You know, yes, we are practicing spirituality. We are chanting Krishna's name as a service to Krishna to bring happiness to Nama. See, if we chant, the Lord will be pleased. See, suppose you are going in a road. Somebody calls you by name. Maybe a friend or, you know, some distance. Do you feel uh, happiness or unhappiness? <laughs> You feel happiness, isn't it? Oh, somebody is calling me. See? Your attention, you know. Is it not? So same way when we are calling on Krishna, that too, giving a priority. See, that's the thing. Priority. Top priority to Him. Okay? Now, in other words, giving up everything. Eating, sleeping, mating, defending, understand? No, I'm no more than, no longer an animal. I'm a human being. One and only thing is supposed to do is chant Krishna. Call on Him, cry for Him. Oh, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Are Ram, Are Ram, 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 Are. With the intensity to which degree of intensity we cry. You know, giving up everything. To that degree, he will also give priority. No? To the degree we approach, the way we approach, same way he reacts. You know. So, but his, his, see, if we take one step, he will take another step towards us. You think his step is same as our step? With one step, we cover the entire earth. <laughs> Can we cover? Even lifetimes you walk, you may not be. No? So, Lord is so merciful. You know. And especially if you take shelter of Guru, you know, the spiritual master who are very dear to the Lord. Like a small bird one time challenging me, see, took away an egg, right? Demand, hey, bring back my egg. He thinks, see, will care for the small bird. But when the bird called for Garuda, 
Garuda came. Then she said, oh, okay, now. <laughs> because Garuda said, I will take, you know, whatever it wants it, I will do. I will empty, you know. See, Garuda can do anything. You know? So immediately, so that's why if you take, if you do under the shelter of pure devotees, you know, and Lord will be more pleased. And that's why we should not worry uh, any doubts. Uh, even uh, we should not expect, no, you know, see, some people get some siddhis, you know, some. We should not look at them, understand? See, as you chant more and all that. You know, you, you know whatever you say, it might get become true. You know, things like that. And people know, in, especially in India, they, are, they, they try to use for material gain. No, give me some number. <laughs> you know, whatever number you say, you know. So we should not engage in that. Misuse that power. If we misuse the spiritual strength, the power comes, then it will downgrade us, you know. Because after all, we are not interested in material things. It will not bring us happiness, you know, distress, you know. Jada, you know, they are not they are not living entities. Living object. So, how it can give any happiness? So, we should not. That's why Trunada Pisuni Chena, lower than the blade of grass, more tolerant than the blade of grass, giving respect to all others without expecting to us. Think of Aridas Thakur, think of Prahala. Think of Jadavarata, you know, Ambarish Maharaj, you know, great soul. You know, how so many difficulties come daily. And these pure devotees have more power, they can. It, like gopis wanted to lift Govardhan, each gopi had a power to lift the Govardhan. You know? Isn't it? So, but they didn't want you know, Krishna. So, actually, Krishna did not lift the Govardhan. Okay? <laughs> you know, they were gave a credit, it was listed by gopis, you know. Even though without lifting, see. <laughs> so Krishna lifted with, uh, <laughs> you know, but all the credit goes to him. So like that, uh, we should be Vaishnava. Any uh, power, this, that, that, it will come, but we should ignore it. Our only point is whether we are pleasing Krishna. No, our point is if Krishna is pleased by my effort, that is the thing. The Guru Parampara Guru is pleased or not. That is the thing. No, if someone else senses God please. <laughs> My senses got pleased. It can never be pleased. It's like putting fire, you know, putting down the fire with the ghee. The more you ghee add, whoo, it increases more. The fire will not satisfy. You say it will never say, no, enough ghee, sir. Don't pour so, too much. <laughs> never say no. 
put more and more, you know, insatiable. So, the same way this material works. That's why you have to know, you know, uh, limiting, you know, cutting down. Never go into think that, oh, I satisfy my senses, I will be pleased. Never, <laughs> it will never happen. Uh, old age, any stage. See, this karma, the lust is so powerful, it divorces you. That's why in our heart we have to bring in, we have to drive out this mund mundane lusty lust, you know, cupid. We have to drive out from our heart. Bring in transcendental cupid, Krishna. You know, if you bring, you will see the beauty and so much. Then this mundane cupid will become unconscious. Our whole idea is to make him unconscious. Mundane. You know. Then it is like uh, waking up the heart, soul. If the soul sleeps, then this mundane cupid wakes up. Oh boy. <laughs> Endless trouble, you know. So this is what is happening. Uh, so we should. Chant, try to chant purely. Think of great acharyas and those commanders will help us. Hmm? Um, any other question? We heard that we should chant to develop love toward the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. And we have also heard that chanting is for the pleasure of Sri Krishna. I may realize the development of love, but how can I know it? if Sri Krishna is satisfied or not by our chanting? So, uh, then there's another two questions. Huh? It is said that chanting inattentively is an offense. On the other hand, we hear instruction on chanting continuously throughout the day. Both these thoughts sound contradictory to each other. Can you kindly guide us? Correct. Um, so, uh, I do not have a lot of inclination for archan, deva, but like hearing and chanting more. When I continue like this, or is it necessary to do archan very actively to progress in bhakti? So, uh, how do we know whether Krishna is satisfied or not by our chanting? If uh, our Acharya's telling, if the if by our service by chanting, Guru is pleased, then Krishna is pleased. Huh? Esha prasada bhagavat prasad. Esha prasada nagati kati. So if he is pleased, Krishna, we have to understand Krishna is pleased. So if Krishna is pleased, Guru, then we also feel happiness. They feel happiness. Uh, that is the one indication. And then you will also have inclination to do more chanting by this. You know, if Krishna is pleased, who is pleased, then it, in, it increases. You know, it gives us strength to chant more. Uh, both. Longer and quality also. And then it also the indication is that we lose interest in the material object. You know? Attachment to the material things, interest in material you know, gradually vanish. If it decreases, then it is an inclination. 
Krishna is pleased, he is giving his mercy. Now, you, of course, chanting inattentively is an offense. Uh, like the tenth one, you know, it says, after hearing all this attentiveness, why it is an offense? Tell me. Say, suppose, President of a country walks into our house. What do you do? You give him a place, a chair to sit. President, sir, please sit down. Then what do you do? Sir, I have a little chore to do this. I want to finish this uh, cutting vegetable cooking or making phone call, this and that. Then I will attend, you know, why he came. Can we say that? Because president of the country has come. Is there anybody higher than him in a country? I mean, I'm talking in a mundane way, right? He's the foremost authority. President has come, is sitting. That means what? We should drop every activity we are engaged in. Is it not? Then you serve him whatever little glass of water or few words, this and that. What does he need? He has not come hungry. Oh, please. Please feed me, right? <laughs> He's a big person, president. He doesn't need anything from us. He has come to inquire for the welfare or something, you know, right? He might ask what is the question, what is the trouble he have, right? So if you put your troubles to him, is it a bit difficult task for him to solve? No, it's just one phone call, you know, anywhere, things done. So that means what? We, we have to pay attention. When he comes there, we have to drop all our other thing, pay attention to him. Is it true or not? Right? Then it will bring, uh, you know, auspiciousness and no, trouble will go away. So same way, Krishna is eating his ordinary president. Ananta Kodi Brahmanda Nayaka is the foremost, is the owner of the entire world, not world. Ananta, unlimited Brahmandas, unlimited Brahmas, unlimited Shivas, unlimited Vishnus. See, they're all under his. Call, you know, control. Everything, every potency is under his control. And his name is non different from him. So when we are chanting, how much attention we should pay, understand? One point and we should forget about everything. If we are Saying inattentiveness, then you can see the president of the country of the come. You, you pay inattentiveness, what happens? He says, Wait a minute, I came to his house to solve his problem. He is not interested, looks like. Okay, goodbye, he goes away. Then what happens? He thinks he's going to come to your house every day. <laughs> no. right. Every moment he's not going to. By chance he has come, very rare, imagine, ordinary, a president walking into ordinary house, somebody ordinary. You know, I'm just giving a mundane example. See, when Lord Ram came to Pampa Sarovar, you know, There was a lady who was born in a very low caste like that, elderly. His guru told, bless her, you wait, one day Lord Krishna, Lord Ram will come to you. 
and how she can she conducted herself shabri right you know the story of shabri she was born in a very low family and she came to the guru day will come ram will come to you he did not say when and which day so she said it may, may might be today itself how she is to wash everything where it might be coming and the fruits she collected fruits best fruits in and because when he comes he cannot say please sit down then i will wash the road then bring you know fruits there may not be time she conducted herself as if he is going to come any day because when she is anticipating him every day is coming 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 the only one i think lord will not know her intention he is antaryam sarvantaryam he is there in everyone's heart he knows everything he is a, he, he, you know he is everywhere all the time in everyone's heart you know then he is also anxious when i will go and see her <laughs> you understand but still you know years went by many many maybe 40 50 60 i don't know you know many years went by long time still she did not give up is thinking oh any day any time will come and one day it so happened is coming <laughs> He came, and he, she bathed her feet. And she served him best fruits, whatever. And looking at at the end, looking at his lotus feet, she left the body. So attentiveness. Ah, uh, inattentiveness causes the problem because that means we are not giving priority to Krishna. Number one, top priority. Krishna and Krishna name is not different. See our priority. To the extent we give priority to Him, same extent He will give us priority to us. You know. So, and then understanding holy name is. Like we were telling, Lord Krishna Saraswati is Purushottama. You know, Nam is Purushottama. Has all potency, is no less. Sriman Nama Prabho Tasya Sri Murthy Rapiati Priyam Vishwaditam Sukopasyam Sarasam Tasthama Nayi Sanatan Goswami. Nama, Nama is so dear to the Lord. Prabhu, the Murti, the Murti, so dear because it can bring auspiciousness to the whole world. The personality of Krishna came. How long he stayed? Of course, he is eternal, but still for 125 years. He delivered so many people. But his name is continuing to deliver, and then worship of Krishna when he comes. Oh, you need to wash feet and this and that. Give <laughs> lovingly some effort it takes. What about his name? No problem. <laughs> Just chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare. Of course, we can serve the holy name also with fruits, water. Ever. He accepts it. You know that's also there. But more than that, easiest way to worship him is chant his name because his name contains everything. It contains fruits, water, everything. Is it not? So if we chant, we are giving everything. The foremost thing he wants from us is what? Our consciousness. You 
न्याय न्याय गौर आरती की न्याय हो जाए हो जाए हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 राम सो फोर मोस्ट थिंग व्हाट ही वांट्स अस इज आवर कॉन्शियसनेस अटेंटिव कॉन्शियसनेस वी कैन नॉट डिवाइड नो फॉर कपल ऑफ मिनट्स फॉर कृष्णा and then um, out of 24 hours maybe one hour for krishna 23 hours for me <laughs> or inattentive see that's why inattentiveness is actually that's why we pray in the beginning is oh lord i'm trying to serve you please some of give me strength to make serving you as the foremost duty my one and only that's why bhakti siddhan saraswati keep hammering us in that you know one and only thing duty for the living entity foremost duty service to shri krishna is the living entity is eternal most foremost for eternal foremost one and only duty he says nothing else see one time chaitanya mahaprabhu asked srivas hey srivas you have a family you should work you should try to devise a way to get some lakshmi to be, take care of your family then she was taku replied lord i want to chant all the time do service to you by doing that everything is satisfied everything else. service to you brings me everything then i will continue to do that if i do, then he says it was suppose if i don't get anything then i will fast second day if i don't get any, i will also fast drink ganga water and then be happy third day again then fourth day if i don't get i'll you know he says something then bhakti Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, you know, he says, you know what he said? Why? You know, Lakshmi, he is the personified wealth, isn't it? Lakshmi might have to go hungry. You think Lakshmi can go hungry? Is it possible? She is feeding everybody, including Indra and all that. you know entire this brahmana is being fed by lakshmi and she is taking care and chaitanya mahaprabhu lakshmi might have to go hungry <laughs> is it possible no impossible but my new my devotee will never lakshmi might have to beg you think lakshmi can go for begging <laughs> everybody is begging from lakshmi for lakshmi but he is giving such a thing my devotees will never have to beg or go hungry because when you are chanting naam this is the thing understanding he is complete himself what do you need by chanting you are you will not feel hungry krishna will make arrange that you know automatically comes we are not experiencing this because of the lack of faith okay. no we can still subsist on my on my own strength the madhavendra puri for example he, he, acharya is there he look at their is such a person it is not that i am saying that everybody can become like 
Madhavendrapuri. What I'm saying is, we should strive, we can see, we have to pray for Madhavendra. Yeah, we will do. We will not ask for anybody, for any prasada. If somebody gives some milk, he is not going to ask for it, okay? He will not take any grains or anything. Only thing is, if somebody gives some milk, he is not going to ask for it. Then he will accept it. Otherwise, he keeps chanting. That was his. When, after finding, when Krishna came, appeared to him, right? Over then. Not up here. You know, I was waiting for you. You know. Then Madhavendrapur will come and serve. You know. I'm here, you know. So Madhavendrapuri went to the village, brought the farmers, dig him up, found, and he installed them every day. So much preparation for the Krishna, you know, Gopal. Govardhan Giridha, so many items, every day cooking, so many people came. But you know what, Madhavendra Puri did not take any of those prasada. He was serving, but still, if somebody gives some milk, he will drink, otherwise no. He strictly followed that. Krishna is, because, is chanting name, serving wholeheartedly, non different. So, whatever he needs, strength, everything comes from him, from that service, from chanting. When you serve the whole, see, you are part of him, you are also served. See, it's like this. Suppose, he serves this body. The hand automatically being taken care of its needs, is it not? The hand takes some food, puts into the mouth. You think hand has to worry separately. No, I also have to eat something for my sake, <laughs> for my health. Because it is connected with this body, the service that hand renders to this body, it automatically gets nourished. So in that mood, if you are serving Krishna, He is complete. I'm connected with Him. That's why Samanda Jnana. Samanda Jnana is the knowing, realizing. Krishna will take it. Ananya chinto yanto maya jana paripasate. Yoga kshema vahamyama. He said Bhagavad Gita. One who is one-pointed, Ananya chinti is thinking of I will carry what he has. I will bring what he lacks. I will make him complete. And he did that. Our Gurudev gives an example. So, Krishna is so kind, so merciful, so magnanimous. No words to speak. So, uh, That's why you have to uh, chant thorough in always. What it is is, then gradually, gradually, like we were saying, you know, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, if you keep on chanting, then what happens is, in the beginning, so many lifetimes, unwanted things are there, but gradually it gets cleared away, clearing stage. You know, but we should not give up, see. In the, in the house, there is dirt. No, there is dirt, let me not sweep. Because sweeping it brings out more dust, more, right? <laughs> Makes me... No, it is better, I will not sweep. <laughs> no. Gradually sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. The process of sweeping will bring back some more dust, but eventually it will go away. So, you have to non-stop. You should not stop. 
cleansing, chanting. So if we keep on doing that gradually, the you know the dirt will go away. Huh? Uh, because Krishna Nam, all potencies, all favorable things, all happiness is there. So gradually, yeah, that's why you should not stop it. Huh? Continue. Even though it may be some inattentive and all that, but gradually, gradually. See, if the baby says, no, I'm falling so many times, I'm getting hurt, I will not try standing up, I will not give up, I will give up walking. Does the baby say, even if it gets hurt, it keep on trying, is it not? Till it start learning to stand up and walk. Right? Same way. So many times, oh no, I was chanting, something else happened, my, I became inattentive. So I should stop chanting. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> okay. You never give up. That's why Krishna says what he says, constant practice and detachment. Okay. This is the formula for the win. Constant practice and detachment. Don't be attached. Detached. To please Krishna. Oh Lord, how many times? Doesn't matter. Million times. He has so much patience. Okay. He's waiting for who knows how many billions and billions of lifetimes. When is going to chant my name? When? See, unless we call him, how he will give us the help, required strength, mercy. Understand? You know, so you have to, because that, that first step has to come. You know, our chest. See, it's like this. This is a living entity. Jiva. This is Bhagavan. This is three modes of material nature. Mode of ignorance, passion and goodness. Understand? The Jiva is with them. So, suffering, lust, anger, greed. You know, all these things. Understand? Now, this is Bhagavan. So only thing is, the jiva has to go towards Bhagavan. Tries to go, it will not go. If Bhagavan tries to go there, no. See? Mercy of the Lord and, and trying, you know, activity of the soul. Then it becomes separate from the three modes of material. Right? Understand? Jnana mudra. You know? The jiva suffering now. Lord is there. See, our attachment to these three modes. Now we have to get attached to the Lord. How? He has to try. Mercy of the Lord should be there. Understand? That's, then it gets separated. It's like Mother binding Maya, binding Krishna. Are you afraid? Now I will not stop binding him. Then Krishna gave, did not give mercy, you know. In the beginning he says, Whoa, wait a minute. My friends are waiting, cows, calves are waiting. No, no, no. Then when she desired, when he understood, mother is not going to give up, is trying. She keep on trying to bind him, no matter how much rope. Even if she runs out of the entire, you know, Brahmanda's rope, she is ready <laughs> to join all of it. When he realizes our willpower is so strong, she wants me to bind me. Then he said, No, I can. Let me surrender. Because our will is so powerful. So Krishna lost. He said, I am, I will give up. So he gave his Blessings. He gave, he agreed. Immediately, Yashoda bind him. Bind. Same way, 
to separate from this material world, we should keep on trying, trying, going towards, crying for the mercy of the Lord, mercy of the Lord, you know. And mercy, Krishna will give mercy. When Krishna gives mercy, animal. Of course, ours is, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, don't worry. Engage all the three modes of material nature in the service of Krishna. Understand? Not giving up. We are not rejecting anything. We are engaging everything in the service of Krishna. So, um, that's why don't keep chanting. And gradually, gradually, the quality will increase. And uh, we pray. Attention. Importance of the Lord. Give top priority. Even half an hour, one hour, two hour, three hour. That's why best is Brahma Murta time. You know, if we chant in Brahma Murta, okay, otherwise it's only, <laughs> it will not happen. So, chant. Then, Archan, right? Compared to hearing and chanting. Say, we can, if you don't have a thing for our chan, it's okay. Uh, that is okay, chanting and hearing. And then maybe, you know, the chanting also you can do our chan if you like, or uh, Uh, Archana is like you have to worry about the seva apradas, you know. You have to be very careful. But gradually, gradually, of course, even uh, even Archan try to understand this. Archan is incomplete without chanting. Shravana, Kirtana, Smarana, Vandana. Huh? Kirtan will make you Shravan and Smarana. By Kirtan, we are doing uh, Shravana. No, you are hearing. When you are doing Kirtan, you are hearing. And also you are remembering. And also by chanting Kirtan, you are making others also hear. Understand? That is also blessing. So ch chanting makes a lot of benefit for ourselves or others also. By by chanting, by kirtan, we are doing also fulfilling the limb of bhakti of hearing and then remembering, and then others engaging. So that's why Kirtan. So Archan, even while we are doing Archan, not a, like silent Archan, we are chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Anything you do, Archan or whatever, we do Agnivotra here, you might have seen. What do we do? Chant. Kirtan is going on, Agnivatra is going. On. So main is Kirtan. You know, it is not secondary, okay? Kirtan. And other thing is second. For this age of Kali, that's what it is. So uh, but of course, Archan also will help us develop relationship with the deity, serving, you know, it's also there. But not at the cost of, you know, Kirtan or chanting. So, we should not. So, 
now i think time is up uh, we'll continue next saturday saturday is the ramanuj acharya's appearance so we pray etane mahaprabhu accepted to to important uh, instruction from the ramanuja acharya actually amazing past times are there ramanuja acharya internally he was worshiping gauranga mahaprabhu no doubt about it externally he was doing this so and his manifestation of lakshman balaram nityan puri so amazing personality so we continue with this vancha kalpataru vyasya krupa sindhu be evacha patitanam bhavanebhyo vaishnava tandava pranam to everybody please forgive me for the delay vandavat pranam gurudev vandavat pranam